whatever the dish may be chapati rice or curry we will require different ingredients like wheat rice sugar and spices but have you ever thought about where these ingredients come from you might have bought these items from your nearby shops but from where does the shop get such diverse food items say for example we buy flour from shops right now this wheat is produced in the field by farmers the farmer sells the wheat grains to factories where they are refined and transformed into wheat powder or flour this flour is packaged and then transported to your local shops for you to buy and make chapatis this process of producing the crop processing it in a factory and transporting it to the shops are grouped under something we call economic activities we can see that the activities in all three stages are different from each other all activities connected with the extraction and production of natural resources are called primary activities agriculture and fishing are examples of primary activities these resources obtained from primary activities are processed in factories where they are made into the final products these activities are called secondary activities steel manufacturing and cloth making are examples of secondary activities the activities of transporting the finished goods to the shops and selling them in the market come under tertiary activities these activities provide support to primary and secondary activities it also includes activities like banking insurance and advertising if you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these like and subscribe to our channel now